Hi, this is Benjamin from Tech at Micro Center. Would you like to learn how to create a virtual hard drive in Windows 8? Stay tuned to find out how. Let's get started. To create our virtual hard disk, we're going to open up Disk Manager by holding down the Windows key and hitting the letter X. It brings up a shortcut that we can click on. We're going to go up to Actions and create new VHD or virtual hard disk. So once we expand the window so we can see a little bit better the disks that are in the computer. Create virtual hard disk. Now we have to tell the computer where we're going to create this virtual hard disk. It's essentially a file inside of the uh, operating system, inside of Windows 8. So we're going to save this into documents called VHD. You can call it whatever you would like. Then click OK or save. And then we have to choose the size we want. We're going to choose 5 gigabytes. It could be 250 gigabytes, whatever size you like. Now with a virtual hard disk, you can create uh, an encrypted space to keep files. You can install operating systems virtually. It's essentially, it essentially will act like a hard drive. Now once we've uh, created it, we need to initialize the disk by right-clicking and selecting Initialize Disk. Once that's done, we need to create a new simple volume by right-clicking on the other space here. And we're going to create a new simple volume, keep everything default. The file format we're going to be choosing is NTFS. That's commonly used with Windows. Um, if you want to network with a Mac and have it have the ability to read and write to this virtual hard disk when you're sharing files, you can choose FAT32. That way both computers can read and write to it. But you're limited to uh, file no big, uh, files no bigger than 4 gigabytes in size. Right click. Now this is created. For more information, please visit us at microcentertech.com.